Hello everyone, my name is Mark. Today I'll be uh, presenting on, on our paper, Object Detection Models, Defining Object Detection Models Against Image Distortions. I'll start with the introduction, go to the motivation. We quickly go through the related work, talk about the, the proposed method, then we discuss the results and the final conclusion. So object detection is a well stated uh, a uh, domain where we, we're trying to teach a computer to see like human beings. So we want the computer to be able to classify a given object and the location of the object in the input image here. So let's say we go with the supervised approach of training. So if I have this set of inputs, uh, images, K will have to, also, the model also be given the corresponding output. That's the output of merely be uh, based on uh, we'll have the classification, the location of objects in this uh, input here. So after the training, we expect that if we give it a new image, uh, it gives us the corresponding classification and location of objects in this input image. So it is also interesting to know that uh, uh, this uh, models that do really well in the detections are based on deep learning models which are based on the human visual system because of how easy it is for humans to see classify things. So here's an example of a case where we have fast style CNN uh, being used to apply to uh, several versions of a model. So let's look at cases where we have the model being trained on clean versions. So the model is able to see this train the model is able to see everything here. But in cases where we apply noise, which are a bit undeceptible to it, the model starts misclassifying things and uh, uh, getting cases where it's even predicting things that are not in the image. So we realize that this, this, is, uh, this is something that we have to deal with, especially if we want to deploy this model. So, uh, in uh, in applications such as self-driving, crowd counting, and other activities. So we've seen from the previous slide that this model suffer under distortions. So what we seek to do is we want to improve on our training samples with the samples that we're going to generate with our method. And these uh, samples are distorted at the pixel level. So for existing work, we have several this uh, conventional data argumentation with the light mix up, cat mix. We have other this image distance defense method, uh, stylized uh, X mix. And we have cases, methods that actually enhance the images that are fair to the models. So this is the an overview of our, our model. So we pick a uh, random pixels in the input image and we distort this image uh, pixels in it and we do it by first of all for every pixel we have several distorted versions and the distortion is based on some sort of uh, a parameter so we can distort it in a Gaussian way blur several versions and after that we generate uh, we estimate this distribute estimation for that pixel location here and we just select a, a sample from this uh, uh from this estimation and replace the value here so we do it for several uh, pixels in this these are controlled uh, uh pixel number of pixels and the positions are random so here we have a detailed uh, presentation of our algorithm over here so here we have examples so in the cases where we are distorted in Gaussian. This is the final uh, outputs of the of the input images. If we are using motion blur, if we are using compression, if we are using snow, this is how the final sample is going to look like. Yeah. So we look at it, uh, the example. So we mainly test on uh, for detection. We have Pascal, and we have and we have the other model Coco, and when it presents on the results on it too. So let's start with uh, the comparison of our method on, with uh, the conventional data augmentation methods. So we realize that uh, uh, these models merely help under clean versions over here. Here, this metric is for 
the accuracy on clean samples. Here is the metric for uh, on distortion, and this is the ratio between the, uh, the clean accuracy and the distortion and, uh, uh, and that the clean sample here, the original sample here. And in this case, we we testing on yellow version four without it based that augmentation method. That is the cut mix. And in all cases, we see that our, mod our model performs superior on that and that distortion here. And here we are really looking at 15 distortions and each at five severity levels. So in total, we are looking at like 75, 75 uh, distortion samples here. So we also compare to the defense methods and the yellow faster here, and we see a similar trend where our model performs best in both uh, faster and uh, yellow. And uh, it also show that we don't actually distort uh, the performance and the clean samples in both cases. Here we see stylized here being bad, uh, although it's very good under distortion, but it performance and the clean is not good. We extend the same uh, method, have the same hyperparameter setting under Coco, and we see a per similar performance. Uh, here we use only the promising methods from the uh, related methods, stylized and URE, and our method is still superior. And when we look at the value uh, tested, so our performance extends to, the, to this as well. So we also look at cases where we want to see if uh, the features length using our from our uh, from our samples are transferable to other data uh, samples. When uh, in cases where it, is, it might be difficult to retrain a model on new set of uh, uh, data set, and we use cases where we train uh, with our method on Coco and want to see where it translates to Pascal. And here clearly we can see that yeah, it translates and it performs really well on on from Coco to Pascal as well. And we look at cases where if uh, meta generalizes to unknown distortion. So here we look at uh, unknown distortions from this uh, distortion that we use to generate our data sets. In this case, is to, we, we see that uh, our method uh, extends to this distortions as well. Unlike URE, where it performs poorly because the distortions that are used uh, to enhance that was used to train the URI model. It's not part of the distortion that was set. Here you see that the performance drops significantly under distortions. And we also want to see if our, our, our model is applicable to classification models. And we see for three data samples and the classification for this classification model, our method extends to that as well. So in uh, conclusion, we see that classification image distortion models they all suffer under this uh, distortion using our method we're able to generate distortion samples that at the pixel level and when we augment this model uh, samples to this models it is able to make them robust to the several distortions thank you these are my reference and thanks for your time